Michael, you guys trailed by as, as many as 32 tonight. Um, we did? Yes. Did, oh, did, you wow. feel like, did you feel like this game got away from, from the players mentally, and, and at what point did it get away? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they kicked their ass. So, yeah, it got away from us. Coach, this team is well known by its ability to come back from 3-1 hole several times. Mm -hmm. So how optimistic are you to come back from this 2-0 hole? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. You know, um, you know uh, the body language of our guys, you know, is, is not where I think it, it needs to be. But, you know, we just got beat up in our building. We got embarrassed in front of our fans. Um, the good thing is we don't play till Friday. We have a chance to kind of get away and, and think about what we want to do moving forward. And um, I'm not worried about anything other than trying to win game three and really just trying to win the first quarter of game three and build it from there, take it one quarter at a time. Um, I think it was a four-point game late in that first. They closed 4-0. Now we're down eight, and then they started off the second quarter 11-0. And, uh, and that's, what, that's when the game got away from us. Um, their physicality, our, our ability to get into our offense, get a shot off. Uh, we played in, in, in late clock situations all night long. So yes, you have to give credit to them, but you know we, we didn't own our spots and we didn't meet their aggression and physicality um, at the level that we needed to. So um, I'll have a much better idea on that question, you know, come Wednesday when we get back in the gym and get a feel for our players and where their energy is at. And um, my hope is that, yeah, we're down 2-0, not ideal. Um, but it's a long series, first run to four. Can we find a way to believe in each other, believe in ourselves, and, and win game three? That's all that matters. Coach, knowing that that wasn't typical Nugget basketball. What was sort of the feeling when you guys gathered in the locker room? And oh, about it's, uh, there's, you know, it's a very, very quiet locker room. And, uh, you know, you can take that many different ways. Um, I'm taking it as our guys are disappointed in, the, in our performance tonight, all the way across the board, you know, for myself, all the way down to player number 18. Um, we got our coach, we got our played. And you can feel sorry for yourself, or you can do whatever you can to try to be better come game three. And that's my focus, is, uh, is rallying these guys to continue to fight. You know, um, no one said it was going to be easy. And uh, right now, we've, we, we understand that. Coach, obviously, in a situation like this, the team often looks to its leaders. Where are Jamal and Nicola at right now? They're both struggling, obviously, on the court. Um, they're in the locker room taking showers. Uh, that's where they are. Uh, frustrating night, and uh, the frustration creeped over. And uh, I thought we lost control of our emotions a little bit tonight. Um, and I felt that was a big play. You know, I thought Jamal Murray took a charge, and um, you know what, it wasn't granted. But you know, we we have to have a little bit more poise um, when they're going on a run, when we're not getting calls, whatever it may be. You got to be able to handle that, read the game, react to the game. And I felt that as a as a unit tonight, um, you know, it was it wasn't wasn't great. Uh, we can definitely be better. As far as Jamal and Nicole, yeah, we, obviously, they, you know. Nine years, eight years, been through a lot, and um, you know, hopefully those guys can help in terms of leading the charge and rallying the troops, and not dropping your head, keep your head held high, and at least when no matter what happens, you know, walk off the court knowing you gave you everything you had, and um, you know, a loss like this is tough. You know, it, 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 I, you feel embarrassed, you feel exposed. So what are you going to do about it? You know, that, that's my biggest thing. What are you going to do about it? Look yourself in the mirror. Have the balls. Have the courage to look yourself in the mirror. Say, I did not do my job tonight. And be better next game. That's all I can ask of them. Coach, you talked about losing control of emotions tonight. It appeared that Jamal at one point threw something toward the referee while he was on the bench. Any concern about him facing discipline? Uh, I'm not even aware of that. So um, I really can't comment. You know, But if that's the case, uh, We'll have to see what happens, but I wasn't aware of that. I knew a heating pack was on the floor, but um, it was not in my field of vision. Coach, you, you talked about their, their defense. We know they're a good defensive team, but you said you couldn't get to your spots. Uh, you probably have to watch the film, but can you, I guess, pinpoint maybe why you were 
at times making it easier for him or a couple of, you know, careless passes or whatever maybe? Well, yeah, careless passes and careless dribbling, you know, both of those. I mean, it was, um, again, they were into us. And uh, we were barely getting the ball over half court at times. And then uh, I think they were, like, in that 11-0 run to start the second, there were a few shot clock violations. We couldn't even get a shot up. So screening better, getting guys open, starting lower on the floor to create a lead to catch the ball in a scoring area, um, not playing in tight spaces. Uh, we got caught dribbling into crowds. And just look at it. They had 12 turnovers for two points. We had 19 for 19. And that's a you know, huge 17 point difference right there. Um, so yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot to clean up. And that's the best part about not playing till Friday is that uh, we can take our time looking at this and figuring out a way uh, where we can all be better. You were upset with some of the calls at and at one point went out on the floor and confronted the ref. Were you trying to get a tech there or just make a point of what's going on? Uh, D, all the above. You know, uh, as a coach, when you ask your players to go out there and fight and to compete at a higher level than you did in game one, and you have a player go out there and do that and try to um, do what you're asking of them, and he's not rewarded. You know, that's very frustrating. And um, I think it's, you know, like there was Jamal in that case. It's, it's up to me to fight for my guys. You know, I mean, like Jamal struggled tonight. Three for 18 from the field. He had 13 rebounds. Um, it wasn't necessarily for a lack of effort or care. Um, you know, he just had a tough night. But when he's out there battling a guy like Carl Anthony Towns and trying to take a charge, and, and what I thought was an easy call, and he's not rewarded, you know, um, I owe it to Jamal Murray or anybody else in that situation to to voice my opinion, to voice my concern and my disagreement. Um, and I, that wound up being, I think, a big play because things kind of after that um, did not go our way, uh, which you know, which is unfortunate. But that's my job, kids. You know what? I'm, I'm going to fight for my guys, and I, I think I got to fight even more for them. Um, you know, that that team over there in Minnesota, you have to give them credit. They're a very good team. And they came in here, won two games, and uh, tonight they, uh, they ran us off the floor. And so I just ask our fans to stay with us. I know tonight was not a pretty sight, and uh, you know, I know there were some boos out there, and I understand that because we didn't play anywhere close to the level that we've come to expect from this team. But, uh, but stay with us. Believe in us. We, we, we've done a lot of good things. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.